All right, so this is going to be the Christmas gifts of um, of 2015. Uh, I guess I've done this before a few years uh, in the past, so why not continue? And I said that I would do this in the last video as well. Um, some of this stuff I have showed you before actually, because I've done this uh, Christmas series video. I mean this Christmas video series, as I you probably know. And whether or not you've seen it, I have shown you a few of those gifts uh, in in one of one of those parts, but I'm just going to show you those again, along with the the, the rest of the stuff that I got later on, uh, and I'm just not going to really divide it up into two or whatever the the things that I have shown you and the things that I haven't shown you. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you in one sort of batch of stuff or whatever, uh, one haul. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'm, and I'm not. I'm just going to grab stuff at random here and not, not really gonna specify from where I got them or whatever I'm just gonna show you the stuff um, so yeah first of all we got a mug here uh, and it says here which I just saw when I filmed this video for the first time um, before the uh, <laughs> the battery told me that no you gotta do it again with a new battery uh, it says caution contents hot um, and yes well this does indeed look like um, a mug or a glass or you know for hot beverages and uh, but but I didn't see that text before but I, I uh, don't really drink a lot of hot beverages I mean I don't drink coffee for example uh, maybe you could use it for hot chocolate I don't know but I don't really drink that either uh, but it's a it's a cool mug I guess uh, you know I might maybe I'll turn to coffee in the future or you know you know <laughs> I don't I, I just I don't like coffee uh, at the moment but here it says death love glory so okay um, but yeah so I got that which is it's pretty nice I guess I mean I'm just gonna use it for decoration right now <laughs> but, um, and then I got a figure here an alien figure which is pretty cool I like uh, the way it looks but I gotta be honest I don't like the way it sort of you know, wiggle source ways, whatever, back and forth like this. And it does have a a solar panel here, which you can see, but you... Uh, well, anyway. And you're supposed to um, charge it using that. And after you've done so, you can use a lamp light as well. You just press this button right here, <laughs> and then he kind of does this on his own. Uh, and it's, it's a feature I don't really care too much for, so I'm just not really going to use them. I'm just going to place this figure on the shelf, and he looks good, despite that, but you know. Um, I, let's see, I got a gift card here, I mean, <laughs> let's sh just show you the gift card itself. Uh, pretty nice looking card, I mean, obviously we have candy on here, but I'm going to use this for movies. Who knows, maybe, maybe I'll buy some candy as well, I mean, but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to buy candy for 500 crowns which is what this is for um, but Hemakvel gift card they sell movies there and uh, that's what I'm gonna use it for so I, it is tempting to go right now you know and uh, <laughs> and, and get some movies um, but I have some stuff on the way and I'm I'm gonna try to um, to wait a little bit I mean we'll see there's gonna be I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you the haul eventually uh, but I'm gonna try to wait just just a little while before I use this. Um, and we got some DVDs here. Uh, Moran och Tobias, uh, mother and son. Although obviously he's played by I mean she's played by a man, and they are you know they're close in age in real life, and they um, they were um, they got their start or you know they got the public's attention I guess. Um, by doing a show uh, or a series of shows, you know, a series of of projects um, in a comedy group uh, called Shilingenget, and that's a uh, you know something I've talked a lot about in the past, or maybe not a lot, but you know, I've talked about it certainly, you know, ranging back to or going back to 2009, I guess. So I've been a fan for a long time, and been a fan of Robert Gustafsson for an even longer time before that, before I watched those shows or whenever whatever but uh, yeah so here they are doing um, a new show together only four episodes uh, half an hour each but it's about these two they live at this house here you can see it looks pretty dil dilapidated and that's sort of what the, the point of the show is it's uh it is a pretty twisted over the top show over the top humor 
uh, they you sort of, each of the four episodes is sort of them, or maybe maybe <laughs> mainly, well definitely mainly the son who is a bit crazy. Oh, she is too, but in different ways. Um, <clears throat> sort of um, levels the house with the ground in each episode, and then in the next episode they built it up again. Not literally, but that's that's what it feels like. I mean, it's, there's definitely some mayhem going on here. And uh, it's really well written, really well acted, and well performed, and just a lot of great humor, which I feel like they haven't done something like this in Swedish comedy before, at least not in a long time. So it is um, a fresh breath of uh, comedy for sure. And there has been a, apparently been talks of a season two, which I didn't know. Um, <clears throat> so that's um, gonna be fun if they decide to do so. I don't think it's necessary. I think this can just st stand on its own uh, but if if, if, a, if a show is great then you know I don't mind seeing more of it so so there we go um, and then I got a movie which I really enjoyed uh, for the most part and thinking back on it there was some funny stuff but obviously it's not better than the originals and that is Vacation uh, now I believe the original title for this is just Vacation isn't it I'm trying to find the original title on the back, but I'm not sure if... Yeah, it's, it's just called Vacation. In Swedish, it's called Et Päron till farsa nästa generation. So it's quite a few more syllables, but <laughs> Et Päron till farsa, that, you know, that's the original title uh, of, you know, of the original movies, I guess. And this means the next generation. Uh, and this is difficult to translate. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it means, but... Um, it, this is definitely a more raunchy rated R version of uh, of the movie. Um, it's not a remake. They kind of make a joke about that in the beginning. You know, you know why why make another vacation? How is it how is it going to be different from the first vacation? Oh, it's going to be totally different. You know, it's not going to be the same. Sort of like a meta joke there, which was kind of fun, but uh, it, it definitely isn't a remake because it's. Um, it's a sequel. It's a continuation of these of the universe because it's about Rusty, the son, uh, who obviously was played by several different actors in the movies, which is kind of a fun little nod. I mean, they 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 you know they include a fun nod to that, if you want to call it a problem as well, uh, which I, it's not a problem, but you know, uh, in in the beginning because they show pictures from each one of the movies and you clearly see that the actor is different, and they didn't make a big deal out of that, but. It, it uh, I feel like they showed showed you pictures because because they were played by different actors maybe and it's just a fun I don't know so R Rusty changed quite a bit in his youth but here he is <laughs> grown you know grown up played by Ed Helms and he decides to take his family to Wally World just as his dad Chevy Chase did in the first Vacation movie 30 years ago and was it 30 years ago? So Ed Helm, I mean, how old is his character in the first one? Isn't he like 15 or something? So he's supposed to be 45 then? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> so, and speaking of Chevy Chase, as well as Beverly D'Angelo, they do appear in the movie later on as, uh, you know, Clark and... Um, I forget her name, but Beverly D'Angelo's character. The Griswolds, the original Griswolds, if you will. They do appear later on. They run this hotel inn or whatever, uh, and um, there's some funny stuff. Beverly D'Angelo, she doesn't get to do too much, but Chevy Chase actually does get to shine a little bit. And I thought that that, that was the most interesting part of the movie. Um, it, there are some, you know, unnecessarily over-the-top humor and stuff that you've just seen before. You know, kind of in-your-face comedy or uh, shock humor, which uh, was alright. You know, I mean, there was some funny stuff for sure. Um, I'm not sure if they have plans on making a sequel, but I I wouldn't mind seeing it. I would like to see more of Chevy Chase if they do. <laughs> um, Brooklyn Nine Nine season two. I think I've watched about a third of this, and I'm really enjoying it. It's just such a great ensemble cast and um, great creative writing, and I, I'm just really liking this. So uh, we got about I think 24 episodes. 23 actually. Um, I really, I really like it. I don't feel like I have much more to add. Uh, this next show I've actually just finished, and I'm gonna talk more about this in 
an upcoming what I watched video um, because I feel like I have I don't have enough time here and I'm gonna show you a few more things as well uh, but the big C season 3 and season 4 I actually do, do not own season 1 and 2 on DVD I have seen them I, I downloaded them uh, I think when they came out a few years ago um, and then I just never continued for some reason but I'm glad I did it's a great show really emotional at the end uh, I'm gonna talk more about that like I said and it's gonna be spoilerific um, but anyway that's coming up um, I got this pillow can you see it well um, and of course I put this um, well, I don't know what you call it but this thing on top of it but we got the pillow here because I needed a new pillow so there we go and uh, then of course I got yeah I got money here we got some Merry Christmas Joel and then we have the amount written inside that I'm going to get and then you know it's pretty common for grandparent grandparents to give you money which is what I got from um, from some of them uh, I got some money and that's always nice you know um, but they will probably be going into my uh, bank account um, and then I'm gonna need my laptop for these next two things um, <laughs> I got this inside out which hasn't arrived yet uh, so I'm just gonna show you the picture of the blu-ray here I'm gonna show you the, the actual blu-ray later on of course um, but this is the um, I can't move the move the uh, the laptop closer to the camera because it bumps into the tripod obviously but um, yeah this is a two disc special edition and um, it's more expensive than the regular version <clears throat> and it has a second disc with uh, history about the history um, our daddies, the filmmakers, uh, well anyway, the sound of Inside Out, I'm just tr trying to translate the feature, the names of the featurettes here, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We got some extra stuff, which uh, I definitely want to see. They do put down a lot of um, of effort into these Pixar movies, the, re the releases of these Pixar movies, which is really nice, so that's why I, why I definitely wanted the uh, <clears throat> the extra well, the special edition, the uh, the behind the scenes stuff, the extras, anyway. And I haven't seen the movie yet, but I'm sure I will love it. Uh, I've been waiting for a while now to see this, and I, I it's gonna not gonna be not <laughs> it's not gonna be long now. So I'm really looking forward to that. And this next one, I um, I did receive these, but they were unfortunately the wrong ones, as you can see here. Well, they're called sleep phones, and as you can see here on the picture they're wearing them and you can you can just you know rest comfortably um, on your pillow wearing these as opposed to I, I, I pretty much this is this is me basically right here when I'm watching TV uh, a lot of the time um, I'm, I'm lying on my side in my bed and using these it's not always too comfortable so uh, I thought that I could use some of these and these are probably meant for you to use when you are falling asleep uh, not maybe when you're watching movies and shows but I thought that I would try them out maybe the audio isn't gonna be the absolute best but I don't need to use them for action movies I mean if the audio is weak then I could just if there's some you know big blockbuster then I'm maybe I'll switch for the other ones I don't know I haven't planned that but I just thought that that, that would be um, um, I don't know, I just thought it would be good to have these, um, and, uh, yeah, I watch a lot of sitcoms, and who cares about the audio quality of sitcoms? Well, anyway, <laughs> uh, they, the audio might be good, I haven't even tried them, and the reason for that is because we have a bunch of different options here, and I don't know if m maybe I wasn't clear enough which ones I wanted, but I, f I felt like I was, but maybe not, but there was a misunderstanding, so I got these original I mean those are the ones that are marked whatever from you know when you go into the page so those are the ones that I received original black medium uh, the ones that I wrote on my list was wireless black extra large which I did try the medium ones on briefly and they weren't that small so XL it might be a little bit too big I'm not sure but the, the important thing is that well, you know they have they have to be wireless because the cord wasn't that long and um, I definitely do not want to have to worry about a cord when I'm watching movies in my bed. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's just um, 
I, I just want to don't want to worry about a cord, you know, stretching to the TV. Anyway, um, so I will be receiving those and uh, eventually. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun to try them out, see how comfortable they are, and uh, yeah. But those are the uh, the two things that I couldn't show you. Um, well, you know, not in person, but you know what I mean in real life. But we get some things here at least, and uh, yeah, that's basically what I received. Um, so in a way, there's gonna be a follow-up to this. So this Christmas series just keeps on going. No, not really, but a follow-up with this gift card. Uh, you know, I might not make a separate video showing you that stuff. I might just include it in a regular update. But I will definitely mention um, what stuff I got uh, with the gift card uh, eventually. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that a lot. Like I said, it's going to be difficult <laughs> to uh, not to go there right away and just look through the shelves but anyway we'll see what I'll do um, but that's it thank you very much for watching what did you get for Christmas tell me down below anyway thank you